Okay, so this is something a little bit different to the norm. If you've not got health issues and you're not interested, then turn off now. Um, yeah, so this is my um, fantastic fox chair um, with its gigantic front wheels, as you can see there, nice and chunky. I've got these fabulous footrests. I love it, I tell you. My feet are at an angle that's more comfortable to me. Um I'm going to be having the speed adjusted on this because at the minute it's on the indoor settings and it's like super, super slow. And I mean super slow, but obviously they have to do that for health and safety reasons. Um, it's got, excuse the sleeping Charlie, um, it's got um, a seatbelt, perfect for when you're going out and about because I never thought, oh, I don't need one of them. But I'm surprising with my arthritis how much my um, sitting, how I can slide down a little bit. So I find more, I'm more secure with the seatbelt actually on. I'm having, um, yeah, next month I'm having the speed, as I've said, adjusted because um, they have to do the indoor settings for health and safety so you don't suddenly press a button and speed you might be somebody that's got um, neurological issues, um, messes with the settings and ends up, you know, crashing through a wall or something stupid. So they have to have it on the slow, slow speed to start you off with. Um, and then they said, give it four weeks and then phone up. Well, I phoned up after two and I said, look, I could do with the speed being made a bit, bigger, a bit on the bigger side for me. Um, and I've been booked in for November to have a test uh, with me and my outdoor settings. So I can use this big boy out and about. It's fantastic. It really, really is super, super comfy. Um, the back to this, I do want cushioning to it because of my arthritis in my back and how painful it is. And so I've asked for extra super cushioning and I'm going to see what they come up with when I go down. Um, because there are bits and pieces that do come off this um, and they can attach different things to them. It's really bizarre, but it's really, really good at the same time because everybody's not got the same disability um, and everybody has their own um, needs, you know, heights and everything else. I mean, they asked me if I wanted the leg rests lowering and I was like, no, I need them higher in and he did them and it was super, super comfortable. And the fab, I've got them out like this because when I get up from my chair, I'm going to be um, normally sitting in this about. But at the minute, I'm going to show you my Rio, which is, this one's more for going to be more for out and about. Um, I know I can't help how I am at the minute. I'm in that much pain. Yeah. <sighs> um. Tell it's going colder because my arthritis is just through the roof. Um, but yeah, this is definitely going to be the one for out and about. As you can see, the wheels are massive. And I do struggle with the footrests and the doorways. And I will show you how <laughs> how fabulous my doorways actually look at the minute. I'm surprised I haven't taken the kitchen door off. But there we go. They did say, oh, you'd be able to put a hoist on this. Well, you can't use the hoist that I've got um, because it's too big and too heavy for the car. So it's a no-no. But it can be converted from um, <laughs> a push, you know, from a self-driven one to um, being pushed. Apparently, these buttons that are here, you can change the settings from able to go to push along um it's great i love it and it's very very different from the rio which i have here you have to excuse the bits of dust and stuff they come off my shoes and feet all the time um yeah that's the hoist bracket that's gone on this for the car um let me just get you over to the old rascal this is the new model um you know, people have said to me also, what's the difference between this particular um, one 
and the fox. And I said, well, it's like having a car that is, you know, made like a one size fits all type of thing. And then you've got your, excuse me, men, you're going to have to move. Move, 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 come on. That's it, good girl. And having something that's customised to build, if you like, that's adapted for you. So, yeah, this is my new faithful for being out and about in the shops. I can get this in the back of the car. Um, I've got a hoist that basically attaches to the metal brackets that I just showed you. Those ones there. Um, and then it gets hoisted on. I'll do a vid at some point showing you the hoist because I get so many people absolutely fascinated. My flash has gone off now because my battery is just like on its last legs with this phone. It's not very reliable. Um, and I keep meaning to switch over onto my better one with a better battery. This one's the Rascal P321, my old faithful. Um, my last evening with this one. It's really weird because it's like um selling an old car it's like selling a part of you um i don't expect people to understand but when you get an attachment to something that's been a big part of your life and i've used this a hell of a lot every day um but the wheels on it are absolutely screwed at the front they're worn out <laughs> and then on the back wheels there's only one that's um, fantastic the other one um, has got a big slash in it from getting in through the communal door to my flat and sending me flying into the door frame and slicing the tyre. And I just had it put back on, a brand new one at the time. So hence the referral to the wheelchair services. Um, the OT did me a referral. Um, and I got the big fox, which I just love. It's fantastic. I mean, this one is so different to the... <laughs> Hello. What are you doing, Missy? Be nosy. Um, yeah, this is so different to the fox because the fox has got more height and... <laughs> what are you doing? And the... <laughs> she just wants some fuss. It's like, come here. Um, yeah, the... Um, she's put me off now. Um... The footrests, they're at an angle, so they're more up like that. And, um, you know, they're more, my, my joints feel more rested and more elevated, especially in my hips. It's very difficult to understand it. Um, the cushioning to the chair is a lot better. It's more purpose built for my arthritic joints and my swollen, swollen joints. Um, it just makes them feel more secure, rested, supported, whatever else you can say about it. This is like flat compared to the one, the fox is like at an angle. And so it's supporting the joints better. Everything is more purpose built to me and I just absolutely love it because you have someone that comes around and does a fit in. And there is a few bits and pieces I need tweaking on it. And they're going to do that when I go up there in November. Um, this one, the seat is a lot lower. Is is lower. It's an older model. I'm going to put that on the floor as the charger. Um, but yeah. So there's the seat. I know you can't see an awful lot because the flash is gone, but... At least it gives you an idea. It is a good good power chair. It's lasted me really, really well. It's been fantastic. It's been through a lot. Um, you can still get certain bits for it, but money I haven't got, you know, to do all these big big parts. Um the wheels you're talking like thirty five quid each on the front and on the back fifty five each. Um, and then your battery replacements as well. You're talking about 55 each for those again. And then you've got to get someone to fit these parts because they all need specialist screwdrivers and tools. Um, you know, you can't just get a toolbox out and go, oh, I'll do that myself. Um, you can't do it. So you have to have someone and then you've got to pay them to do it. 
so that's even more money thrown out the window um yeah and like i said two weeks before um my tire got slashed um i had just paid for the tires at the back and then i paid someone to come and do it and i just thought i'm throwing money away here because i can't afford to keep replacing stuff all the while um i spent a couple of years before that 550 quid on this particular part and then it cost me 250 to have it uh, fitted and to have a bit of a service so it did cost me a lot of money um just to replace a part um but yeah a part of me doesn't want to get rid of this because it's it's like it's like when you have to get rid of an old car i mean it's like my old cars that i had before the motability car um i didn't want to get rid of them i had two beetles they were literally my most amazing cars ever and i adored them um i had a green one at first and then i had a red one and the red one i had customized in like loads and loads of cat stickers and she was amazing i gave them both names and they just looked beautiful one was bertha and one was betty um and they were just amazing um and then they ended up sitting in the back garden one was one failed the mot it needed a new engine the other one um just ended up being sat and doing nothing and it just needed to go um I can't remember if there was anything issued with that as well, but it just was sitting around and I just needed it to go. Um, and I didn't know where to start with selling it, so it just ended up going um, with a seller. Um, some chap that deals with cars and stuff, and then I had a scrappy come for the other car. And it was, it really upset me, um, saying goodbye. <laughs> Are you after, eh? Luna, what do you want? <laughs> she wants food. She's like, sod this. Feed us. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Hey, feed us. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, they were a big part of my life. Look at her. <laughs> She's like... <laughs> hey, Luna. Luna, what are you doing? Can't really see her now. <laughs> she's like feed me <laughs> sod this no don't go climbing on my clothes come on i've got my lady coming tomorrow to help me and i don't want them messed up <laughs> proper attitude like feed me and mind that <laughs> but yeah this is um yeah it's it's like when i sold my bike because i couldn't ride her anymore and yeah and when the lady came and she says oh can I take her for a little spin round you know up and down just to check that I'm all right with it and she wasn't some nut that was going to cycle off with it um you know it was a case of um yeah I I did well up I did cry because it was like losing a part of me and this is really hard for me letting this one go it's a lot of memories and you know with this as well good and bad there's some bad ones um and then uh there's been some good ones too but yeah letting go is hard i put her on ebay um and i've sold well because of all the issues that need replacing it's like um 50 pounds or nearest offer so she's gone for 30 but yeah it is a big part of my life you know and i'd be sad to see her go part of me did think am i doing the right thing you know i like to have a backup in case this one goes on me for whatever reason and suddenly i'm without a boot scooter or a boot um replacement if anything did happen to this so it does scare me a little bit um because it's that just that unknown feeling but 
I need to replace this definitely um you know in time maybe I will have a second one as a backup for the car um but we'll see but these things are important and when they're your legs it's a huge thing it's a huge thing you know having it gone but I might end up getting a boot scooter so at least I've got one for in the car um so I've got something if I did need it um yeah yeah I'm quite emotional now <laughs> it is it's a huge thing letting this go um yeah it is sad but on a better note at least yeah I don't know I feel strange letting it go um when it is your legs, it's a big thing. And I do get attached to things. I do really badly. So, yeah. End of an ear, eh? Right, guys, I'm going to love and leave. Um, yeah, I'm going to sort these cats out. <laughs> sort Luna out. <laughs> um, so, I'll say, so, thanks for watching. Um... I know this is a bit different to the norm, but I thought, well, I want to sort of, you know, just do a little vid um, showing you my wheels and, yeah. All right, love and leave and all that. Okay, bye.